Hey, what's up everyone? The other day I came across a particular situation where I wanted to remove a certain sound pattern from an audio file. So I pulled up Adobe Audition and played around with it and was able to get it to work. And today I'll just be showing you how I did that because, you know, I haven't made a YouTube video in quite a while and you know, I just wanted to make one. So today I'll just be showing you guys how to remove a particular part in an audio file. So let's get started. So in this case, we have an audio file that has a particular pattern in it and this pattern is, shows up by itself right here where we have these repetitive dots just playing but inside you know some other parts of the audio we have the dots playing but we have some other parts of the sound that we are hearing as well these undertones that we're hearing here so what we want to do is we want to take the dotted sounds play. I don't know what to call it, but the part where it's just kind of dotted, the, you know, repetitive dots, and we want to remove that part of the audio from the entire file. So to do that, what we have to first do is identify a portion of the audio where it's just that sound playing so that the program knows the patterns that is occurring that it can remove from the entire audio file. So in this case, we have it happening in the beginning of the audio file. And we also have it happening in the middle of the audio file. So what we're going to do is we're going to capture that noise print. And capturing the noise print is just telling uh, Adobe Audition what we want to capture, basically. And in this case, remove. So we're going to go to the beginning of this pattern part that we're hearing. And we're going to press I for in. And then we're just going to play it until the end of this pattern where it starts to bring in other parts of the music. So that's this is where it starts bringing the other parts of the music. So I'm going to go back a little bit and just press O right here. So you see this white part that's highlighted. That's our noise print that we're going to capture. And then once we tell Adobe Audition that that's what we want to remove, this, this pattern is what we want to remove, then we're just going to extrapolate it to the entire audio file and remove it. So to do that, we just go up here to Effects. And then we go to Noise Reduction or Restoration. And we'll first capture the noise print. So that's captured now. So we have the noise print captured. And then now what do we want to do with the noise print? We want to, first of all, select the part of the audio that we want to remove. Um, you don't have to select the whole thing. So for example, you can just select some part of the audio. But in this case, we will be selecting the entire audio um, so that we can remove it from the whole thing. And I just did that by pressing Command A, or if you're on Windows, Control A. Um, but before we do that, let's play a little part of the audio to prove to you that this pattern is inside. So we'll go to one minute mark right here. So you're hearing the dotted audio happening, and then you're also hearing the undertone music as well. So that's at the one minute mark. So let's just keep that in mind, and then we're going to select the whole audio. And keep in mind, we, are, we still have our noise print captured here. So we're going to go to effects and then we're going to go to noise reduction and restoration again. And this time we'll go to noise reduction or process, which is right under capture noise print. And this will bring up the noise reduction uh, window that you know is related to your noise print that you currently have captured. And you can play around with these settings a little bit, you know, noise reduction percentage and then reduce by how many decibels that you want. But in general, if you want to remove the whole audio, just the default setting will work perfectly fine, but you can work you know, you can just play around with it as much as you'd like. I'm just going to use the default setting here. So I'm just going to press apply. And that's going to process the whole audio and remove that um, part of the audio that we captured. So you can already see uh, the wavelength waves already changed a bit. So we'll go to the one minute mark again and start listening to the audio. And you can see that the dotted pattern that we had before has mostly been removed. You can still hear it at this part of the audio, apparently, but that just requires you to, you know, play around with it a little bit more and capture. So this isn't a perfect method, as you can see here with this example, but at the one minute mark, at least, you can definitely not hear it at all, which is pretty good. But um, around this 105 mark right here, you do start hearing a little bit a little bit right there and so you can kind of zoom into the audio and uh, you know just capture that part that you want to remove as well this isn't going to be a one you know one click perfectly done button but 
in general, it does its job, and you can just play around with it, and you'll get you'll get it right. So that's that's the whole that's the whole thing I wanted to show you today. Um, the noise, the effects. You go to noise reduction, restoration, capture your noise print, so that Adobe Audition knows what to remove. And then we have the noise reduction process function here that we went through, and you can obviously you know play around with the settings and make it really reduced or a little bit reduced, up to you. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I know I haven't made a video in a bit, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to up my YouTube game a little bit more. So yeah. All right. Thanks, guys.